Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick video on how our website should now be totally functional and have all the files that you're looking for. Um, so I've been working on updating it this semester and I think it's good to go. So when you come to the Stats Tools website, there's a couple different menus that you can use. If you're on a phone, mainly you'll be using this menu over here. Uh, but what you can usually find what you're looking for depending on the topic. So um, we've started a new blog that we're calling Invader Sim because um, I have loved Invader Sim forever and we do lots of simulation of data designs in the lab. Um, and so that is going to post different things about learning. Um, so when we post a new video, we're going to post um, a corresponding blog post about it. It's going to be comments on pop uh, statistics and pop culture, which John has posted one here on that Diet Coke stroke um, article that was going around for a while. Um, we're gonna post on new publications and all kinds of things related to either my research lab, my students who are off doing fantastic things, or about how to learn the statistics that we're doing when we do these publications. So the idea behind it is still focused on learning um, and how we can take these science articles that we write that are really technical and then we translate them to the like for everyone version and then also link you to videos that will help you learn how, how to do what we're doing. Um, from there you can also click on learn if you're a someone who's just gotten stuck teaching statistics and you want to download like an entire course to edit and make your own you can do that here on the learn page. So four different courses, we've kind of consolidated a lot of this into one set of pages. Um, so under basic statistics, you could use that from the Aaron Aaron and Coop's book or the Nolan book. You can do that in SPSS or R. So I have all of my materials available as one zip file that's separated by chapter and by type of thing. The only thing not in these files are my exams for obvious reasons. Uh, we also have some tutorials on how to do things in Jasper or Excel and also on the Vassar Stats website. Um, and so each one of these links down here is a link to one of our YouTube videos that explains um, or is a lecture on that this particular topic, so like Z-scores. The files associated with these YouTube videos are what is in these zip files. So this is structured based on how I teach my course during the semester. We also have some extra videos down here that we did as a practicum for some of our graduate students. And so you can listen to somebody other than me lecture on um, some basic stats. My advanced stats uh, link is a little different because we've designed this course to be a choose your own adventure course where students can either pick R or JASP. Um, but I also have taught this in SPSS, so I have a bunch of SPSS videos. But it also includes a bunch of topics that you find on the YouTube channel that maybe aren't um, part of the course, but they made sense to stick here. So um, we have some overall lectures and then like specific examples, but especially down here under moderation and mediation. So I've done several videos using the process link, uh, process plugin in SPSS. So I've covered that under two-way moderation, three-way moderation, moderated mediation, some multi-level modeling. So um, a lot of these are not things that I would necessarily ever do in class, especially double mediation, but uh, I have examples for. Um, and so that's where you can find all the materials for this. This also includes all my dummies guides, which have example write-ups, not of everything, but of a lot of these core concepts that you can use to get started. Um, my graduate course, this one is based on the Andy Field book, and so I mostly have um, my lecture materials in R for that. Um, there aren't that many SPSS videos for it, but there, I do have all my SPSS uh, uh, PowerPoints and stuff. Um, I also have some old PowerPoints from Keppel and Wickens. And then last but not least, a sim one. The sim one is set up a little differently because I don't have anything from when I used to teach the class in Amos except maybe some PowerPoints and everything is in this one giant download. And then um, it's set up by the lecture on the topic, the example, and then a class assignment that I give. And that assignment, uh, the video is of me working the assignment. 
Um, so this one's set up just a touch differently. Mostly this is for people who are wanting to learn Sim and Levon, which is an R package. From there, if you're tired of learning things, you can read a little bit about the graduate certificate that we've started at Missouri State University. Um, that's uh, certificate classes are, there's four classes for that over statistics and research design. Um, you can also look at our apps, which is Moat. So we're currently working on pay making Moat into a package for CRAN. Right now it's available on GitHub, so you could um, download Moat from GitHub into R. We do have a link still for the Java version, but we're slowly phasing that out um, to put everything into R and then make an online interface so that if you're not familiar with R, you can at least still use it. Um, and then last but not least, we got video links. So it's links to all the different um, playlists for the YouTube channel. Uh, and I tried to update most of these. They're not perfect, but uh, you can use them to kind of get started if you want. So I have nearly 200 videos on learning how to use R. And then if you want to learn a little bit about us, you can click on the About page, uh, learn a little bit about me, myself, uh, the graduate student who's going to be blogging with me, and some of the graduate students who've helped make this site happen. So um, the nice thing about all of this is now that all of our materials are linked together. So let's say I click on something from Advanced Stats. Uh, let's see here. Hopefully this will be one that will actually have it linked properly. So you come over here. Um, okay. Don't talk video and video here. But once you come to the YouTube page, it takes you back to the page where you can find this. And so all of our videos should have the link back to where the materials can be found on our website. If they do not, please send me a comment and I will fix it. Um, the only time that's not true is there's a couple videos that we still have online that have updated versions. And if you find one of those, I'll help you get to the, the newest version of that lecture. So all the comments should be responded to on YouTube and all the videos should be linked. So now everything's kind of all tied together. And let me know if you have any other questions about our webpage or our YouTube channel, but I'm proud to say that it's finally finished. So just an update on what we've been doing in background to hopefully make all of this easier for you to find the things that we talk about on our channel.